With the troubles on Mir caused by man in space and the spectacular success of the Pathfinder, why do we need man in space? It's an old debate, actually, but given what's going on up there this week, we asked Robert Krulwich to take a closer look. It is fascinating and strange, suspenseful. It has everything you'd want in a great adventure except people. We know sending people to another planet is risky and expensive, and robots do the science just as well, but can a robot excite the heart? Here, go for landing, over. The way Neil Armstrong did on that first trip to the moon when he swung the craft into position for the final descent, looked down and saw nothing but dangerous boulders where he was supposed to land, and his lander was too delicate. The sides of the spacecraft were about the thickness of the aluminum foil in a cigarette package. Really? You could poke your finger right through the walls. So what does he do? Neil takes control of the instruments, starts flying around on his own, and he says nothing to the folks in Houston. What's he doing? What's this uh, trajectory? There's nothing we practice. What's more, he only has 60 seconds of fuel left. Uh, 60 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, you start counting from 30, you get down to 25, 20. I was holding on. I was holding on. They have handles on the TVs there. I was holding on to that handle so hard, and I was looking. I knew. I, I was mentally counting this thing down. Armstrong is now 100 feet off the ground through the dust. He finds a spot that looks safe if he can get there in time. I don't think I breathed during this period of time. I don't know how long it was since I had breathed. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin was right next to Armstrong. How anxious were you in the last minute? Very anxious. It turned out at the moment Eagle landed, it had between 17 and 7 seconds of fuel left. 7 seconds. So, yes, yes, the rover inching carefully toward the rock today. It's neat, but with no mind and no guts and no heart beating up there, it's not quite the same. Robert Krulwich, ABC News.